all right what's up guys welcome back to another amazing video thank you so much for watching on this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to mine zen blocks for your pc windows cpu version there's another version of gpu and it's a whole other you know video that i might have to cover but this one specifically is for windows i've tried to watch youtube videos and google and even chat gpt try to help me out you know it took me till four in the morning to finally understand it better and get it up and running on my pc it is very confusing because there's videos out there that are not that good okay trust me it, get, it instead of trying to help you it gets really confusing because the the video starts going into detail about coding you got to you know do i don't know <laughs> some hashtag number code 69 420 whatever and then click enter and then it'll do this this and that it's like buddy I don't know. <laughs> Just tell me, you know, step by step. I don't need to know all the coding numbers, what it means, this and this and that. I'm a dummy. <laughs> I'm trying to learn this quick and just have it started. So hopefully this video does good, man. If it does, let me know down in the comment section below. Zen community, do me a huge favor, okay? I really hope you can do this for me. If you ran into any issues, running zen blocks comment down below your solution i want the comment section to pretty much be a helpful resource for anybody that comes over to youtube or from telegram wherever they are coming from even if you didn't have any is um any issues or with this video uh, if you know how to do this and stuff like that comment anything let let's say for example you say hey guys i ran into this scenario that i had an error that said this i did this to make it happen and and you know get it fixed and up and running that way other people other users you know they can start seeing our comments they can read yours and they'll be like okay that's really helpful it helped thank you so much you know so on and so forth Let's try to get that comment section helpful for many other viewers, for Zen community members. Let's not be greedy. Let's not be selfish, guys. We are literally trying to be the best crypto altcoin out there, better than all other ones that are toxic and just straight up just negative. We are different. The Zen community is strong and very unique. So let's get into this right now. I know I was, you know, talking a lot, but I just really wanted to get that out there, man. I'm trying to help the small fish. I'm trying to help all of you guys out. First thing is first is download Python. The link for this will be down below in the description, but just in case you don't trust me or for or you want to be safe about it, which is perfectly fine. I totally understand. You can just go onto Google and search Python download, which is going to take you to this exact link um, that you see on the screen. It is python.org slash downloads. You click download. Once you do that, it will, of course, pop up on here. I Trust me, I did it many times trying to get it right. So click on the download file or whatever it is. You click on modify. These four will be selected throughout the whole video. If you need a pause or rewind, go ahead, man. Send it to all your buddies that want to learn how to mine and how to get this up and running. It's super easy now that I've done it so many times, but those I know those of you guys that want to do it are too scared or too anxious and confused, so hopefully I help, man. I really do hope so. Um, click the like button if I did help, by the way. So once you have these selected, you click on next. The next thing you want to do is, of course, this one's grayed out, okay? So the next four will be selected. These two are optional in case you do want to have them or not. That's totally up to you. You click install. Once, of course, I already have that one installed under me, so I don't have to do it again. Once that is there, there are some specific commands that you have to do. On your search bar on your PC, you can just search up command prompt, which it will pop up like so, this right here you have to add these commands that I'm gonna show you guys right now. I just need to organize my tabs just a little bit. So these are the commands. I already have them on here, so it's probably gonna come up with um stuff like it can't uh, install. Hey guys, I, well, while I was editing the video for you, um, I did notice one thing that I forgot to put in there and mention, and I'm glad I noticed it. So, be sure you let the Python download completely, you know, and that way it's just installed 100% on your PC, on your computer, whatever you're using. 
make sure it's fully installed before you open your command prompt. Uh, I know there were some issues that I ran into as well as other people that I have seen on Telegram in which they started doing the PIP install, you know, the modules, they started doing it and a lot of, you know, errors started coming up. That's the reason why you got to let down, let Python fully download and then open your command prompt. So that way you can do the modules and have them um, installed in order to proceed to mining. So yeah, I'm glad I even noticed it. Zim community, thank you so much for the huge support. Thank you for watching pretty much till right now. This is just a quick little ad that I, I want to put in so that way I can make that DXN video possible. I did the math. It's going to be about $1,200 to $1,500 to be able to make that DXN video possible. So shout out to BetFury for being able to hook us up with this special promo. It is BetFury.io. The link will be down below in the description. You guys, using the link, will be able to have $200 of the bonus in which you guys will be able to enjoy, you know, eventually withdraw. There are terms and conditions behind that. You know, $200 is a lot of money for a lot of people. And using the link literally helps the channel. It helps me pretty much get the funds needed for the DXN video. So shout out to BetFury. It's an iGaming platform in which it's sport betting and it's a whole lot of other stuff. You can also buy their token, which is BFG. It's under the Binance network. You can buy it on PancakeSwap, interact with it. You can stake it and earn passive income. They have been here since 2018, which is, you know, five years in the making already. Almost, yeah, almost five years, give or take. So they have been here for quite a while. So they are very trustworthy and they pay every 24 hours the more bfg you have in your staking account the more your payouts are going to be as of right now the pool is sitting at well over one or two million dollars i cannot remember uh but it's up there already so great and you know hopefully you guys enjoy it you know thank you so much for supporting me and the channel and and if you use the link you know it really does go a long way so yeah let's get right back into the video thank you anything to it so it's PIP, I think it's like PIP or something like that, install. There, these four items right here, you're going to insert each one of these individually, not all at once, okay? If for some reason, you know, you can't use this command, the PIP, there is another way for uh, the PIP install command. It's this right here. Matter of fact, I'm just going to copy all of this. And I'm going to paste it down below in the comment section for you guys to just highlight, copy, paste it, and, you know, just get it done, right? That way you won't have to uh, just constantly be typing and seeing if you misspelled something. Just copy and paste it, man. I got you guys. Everything will be down below in the description. I'm literally trying to get you guys the easiest, simplest, you know, the, <laughs> the best way possible for you to just start mining, man. So, yeah. So now you just literally just copy. For example, you know, just copy boom paste there it is right there so then you just click enter it'll start doing that you know i already have it so of course that's gonna be popping up you do the same thing you know it's pass lib request with an s if you miss an s on there it's not gonna run it does something different you know tqdm as well as well as the argon 2 underscore cffi and in case you don't have the pip like i say you can just do this specific command or module whatever the heck these are trust me i'm still learning all right and i can already i can already hear the comments those those of you that know everything about cpu gpus are already like how do you not know this like bro chill I, i'm even myself i'm not i don't know anything about python coding or any of that stuff it's a whole new series for me um but hey i'm trying to make that money i'm trying to get into this and support zen so it's something i'm willing to learn especially to help you all so now that you have all of these on there, let's say you were, you know, you installed it, that you're good to go and you had no issues, okay? Which I hope you didn't have any issues at all. The next step that you're going to have to do is go to the GitHub website in which the Jack1174, that's his username, so it's verified. This is the Zen Miner. Very, this is the craziest part. It's so easy, yet so complicated at the same time once you've done it, right? Once you have them commands on there and they should be good to go in the background, you go into this bar, this little section right here. If you want to make an account, you know, I would suggest you to go ahead and do so. It's on GitHub and you 
click the down right here and you go to download zip. Once you click the download, of course, it's gonna be on your download section uh, tab, um, wherever yours is at. So this is what's gonna be coming up on yours. Make sure you click on it. You click the three dots or maybe you can even right click it. You have to extract all. And then you click, of course, accept, extract, so on and so forth. There's going to be a folder that's unzipped. You click on it. And then you click on Zen Miner Main or whatever yours says. Probably it says the same thing. Next step is go to the config.conf. All right. On the file, click on open with. You could do the notepad or you could do the wordpad. I usually just stick with the notebook, the notepad. And on here, you will see that there's an address. This one needs to be replaced with the address that you prefer in which the coins, the Zen blocks and all that will go to you. If you don't change this, then you're pretty much giving away all your coins and all your hard work and mining and all that is going to just zero. OK, so be sure you change this right here. Once you do so, you just click file, save as and make sure you change this to all files for the for all of this to pop up. I know it took me a minute to realize that, too. But I finally got it. All right. So next thing you do is just click and then save. You got to overwrite it. Click yes to confirm. You know, and that way it will be there for you for whenever you need it. So there we go. That step right there is done. Now, the next thing that you're going to have to do is literally click minor and it should be working. <laughs> it should. I'd hope so. Hopefully I didn't miss out on any, you know, important details or factors and whatnot for you to be able to do this. You know, my, this is not, you know, the biggest and fastest hashes out there. We have multiple out there. There's like special commands out there for you to do. You know, I can already imagine all the CPU geeks, you know, start typing away all crazy and everything saying, my goodness, that's slow, blah, blah, blah. At the same time, the difficulty is getting very hard. You know, at four in the morning, it was at 70,000 difficulty. Now it's at 82,500 just because of the GPUs coming on over. A lot of people are finding ways faster, cheaper ways, and, you know, just ways around around it in which they can hash faster and especially you know a lot more users are coming along so which the difficulty is getting more and more high like just higher by the second um so right now of course the cpus are running really slow really at the hashes per second keep that in mind man uh you know it's something to bear with and if you have multiples then that's great you can have more than one by the way of these you just gotta download the um zip multiple times you know one two three four five you can have them but you know of course it's going to take more power more electricity you know so you know just the little things to keep in mind i'm trying to help you guys out but if you don't want to deal you can just exit out of this and i'll stop it but if you don't want to deal with none of this there is also another way around this uh people have started using the runpod.io in which you can just pay an hourly rate for people using like the secure cloud or even there's communities out there that have their own cloud you can pay like i think the cheapest one i saw was like 20 cents an hour to be able to use you know that power of the cpu gpu and ram and all that stuff for you to be able to just continue mining uh, zen blocks i have not tried this yet but if you are curious about this i will leave it down below in the description uh, so you guys can check it out sign up if you want to of course you gotta pay you know you gotta buy credits and them credits will be used like every minute to every hour and it'll start deducting it until you have zero and then it'll stop mining for you i don't know how to do this exactly you're gonna have to dig your dig yourself into this um because trust me i've already done enough homework so if you want to check out go ahead have fun with it get your feet wet if you're having issues running something just search it up on there be like, yo, why isn't this running? Search it up. And there's going to be people asking the same questions. And there's going to be people out there answering them. I'm telling you, the Zen community is great. It's amazing. I have also used chat GPT. If you're having an error pop up, just copy, paste it onto here and just let it answer you and ask away what does code such and such mean how to install this how to install that and it'll guide you step by step about how to do everything 
chat gpt is amazing i will leave this chat gpt which i ought to be surprised if you don't know what chat gpt is it's an open ai it's the first one revolutionary all that great stuff i'll leave this one down below in the description as well don't worry none of the links that i'm leaving down below are going to be referral links i'm not going to benefit from anything okay another thing i want to mention is the hashhead.io this is from a really good youtuber everybody knows him it's tree city you know by the way shout out to him uh go follow him you know support him a little bit stuff like that you know tip him buy him a coffee i know i already did you know you can search up whatever address you use to replace that notebook that notepad um for your eth just paste it onto here and then you just click check account and you should be able to um, see pretty much your mining, right? What you got, how many tokens, like pretty much everything, all right? Your placement, your ranking. Another thing I want to go ahead and include now that I saw this is make sure you include the network as well. So on the MetaMask, make sure you click on the add network, you customize it, and you just add the RPC URL, the chain ID, you know, all of the, pretty much, well, some of this information to have this on the network that you want to see your coins and that way you can see everything on your metamask and so on and so forth man i feel like the majority of you guys um it's just simple enough to do this uh, resources and research wise would definitely be zen.pub this one has all the information you need whether it be the difficulty level level there's a uh, zuni block x uni blocks there is regular there's also super blocks Unique miners is up to 14,000. Of course, the more that come, the higher it's going to get. This is crazy, man, how high this spiked up. And there's, of course, a lot of information and, and just tools out there for you to learn and use, take advantage of it. It's a great, just a great asset and skill to learn in case you need it. Because I know I didn't have that skill and I just pretty much took time to be able to do all of this and and learn it for myself, especially for me to be able to make a YouTube video out of this. But like I said, man, if you ran into any issues, please comment down below uh, your solution. Just say that you had this issue, you resolved it by doing this. I want the comment section to be helpful in case people are still asking questions. Again, this is for Windows CPU and the commands and all that. You know, all the links will be down below in the description. I really hope I did a good job and showing you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial about how to do all of this i feel like i i tried my best and and you know other videos out there it may not have been so helpful you know but still i want you to be honest with me uh let me know if i missed out on something let me know you know if if i said something wrong uh down below i don't mind improving for you guys okay i will apologize and i'm gonna apologize right now if in case you know again uh, if I did or said something wrong or, you know, if I showed you guys the wrong thing, so on and so forth, man. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you click that like button, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff, man. Thank you so much. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Take it easy. I'm out. Peace.